I kicked off last week, so why doesn't someone else do it? Kaya, you do yeah, it. Jackson. Hello, welcome to the official podcast, episode 294. Um, did stuff happen this week, any of you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like a lot happened this week. To you personally, or just yeah, in the what? world? In the world, I feel like it was a big week. Yeah, this one will go down in the history books. Mm. I think this is going to be a week that everyone's going to look back on and remember. <laughs> yeah, the week starting seven eighteen. Yeah, that's, what do you that's think the big one. is the most consequential week in the history of our species? <laughs> Probably whatever week we like fell out of the water and started to slowly evolve would probably be like the most <laughs> yeah, important. Yeah, but we don't one. know what week that was. That's, That's a the big issue. One. <laughs> the most important uh, week in our history, and we don't even remember it. I know it's pretty embarrassing. If we're talking recorded <laughs> history, probably the weeks World War Two was really at its peak. Yeah, but like which say. one? There's, there's so many weeks in the World War Two, Andrew. <laughs> That's true. I don't was know. Was it the one where uh, Hitler? <laughs> killed himself or was it the one where we declared peace reigned across the planet for the first mm. time in 12 years no I, I think i think like the height of the wars bullshit would be more impactful than when it actually ended you know what no way it has to be like towards when when peace actually was determined no 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 because when people are actively dying and like the world's going to shit people are more affected by that than oh it's over because then they just go back to normal but people stop dying. <laughs> exactly. That was really it goes pretty back important. To, it goes back to normal rather than having almost the entire world upended and changed. World War II changed the entire world. You yeah, know? but also World War II ending also changed the world pretty substantially. No, it didn't. Everything just went back to normal for the most part. Well, not for Germany. <laughs> yeah, well, not for Germany, Japan. no. But, <laughs> but like America was like, all right, we're done here. Pack it up. And they just left. It was fine. Yeah, I guess. I, yeah. I, I don't think World War II, anyway. I, I think something different, but I'm not sure what yet in our history. It has to be like... How long? Electricity or something like that. The week electricity was invented. I actually was mm. going to go deeper back in time. Maybe like a week of conquest back when like Caesar or something was taking over the world or some shit, maybe. Genghis, Genghis Khan. Khan. Yeah, Genghis Khan would be a good argument for that. Yeah, because I mean, mm. that quite literally changed the entire course of our species when they took over. That man killed, what was it, like 10% of the world's population at the time or something ridiculous? It, it was something absurd. Yeah. One thing that I learned not too long ago that I always find interesting is um, during... Fuck, I'm going to get all of this wrong and look like a <laughs> fucking idiot now, but I believe it was the Greeks yeah. actually invented, like, a computer way back in the day, like, a legitimate working computer, like, for its time. You said you just but learned this? You've spoken about this on the podcast before. I distinctly remember yeah. this being brought up before. Oh, did I bring this up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've yeah, just you learned did. it again. So <laughs> <laughs> it's been there before. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry, continue. No, I, I, maybe maybe you're nah, you might be wrong. Maybe you're misremembering. <laughs> I I just learned this. It's a uh, this old computer the Greeks made. They didn't get a chance to really use it because then they got like stopped by the Romans. So, we could have had computers a long time ago. How that could, was a pretty important week. How could we have computers without electricity? They did they they need to like well, it, it would have just jump started everything. They were just so far ahead. The computer they had such a the, massive head start. The computer would have like determined what electricity is, and then led the Romans to that, or the Greeks to that. I mean, they like, could have stumbled upon it. Like they, they just had a massive technological head start. How did that information fade? Because the Jackson, what do you mean? How did it fade? The, the, the Greeks weren't able to continue it because of the Roman conquest. What did the Romans put like a subpoena on it or something like that? They stole the <laughs> patent. <laughs> yeah, surely they that, surely them. that technological like Copyright information. Claim. <laughs> was like gathered by the Romans or something and continued or did they just what 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 happened I want to know the outcome of it, uh, it lost to time during war <laughs> <laughs> well it's not that important then I mean it, it's pretty important I just looked up the date because I was curious it was dated around 87 BC that's fucking wild <laughs> So <laughs> Jesus was a thing after computers existed. Yeah, cool. maybe he was. Con maybe he was created by these computers. Like maybe not all of them were destroyed, and he was just like a hologram or some cool shit. 
Do you <laughs> Jesus was like Hatsune Miku, just doing <laughs> doing concerts around the Middle East. Yeah. <laughs> he could have potentially opened his own like blog on the uh, Greek intranet. <laughs> <laughs> Be a vlogger. He was the first YouTuber. Yeah, I do think though that you're you're on the right path though. It was probably something to do with the uh, Roman conquest. I think that yeah. really set up society as a whole. Um, I don't know about Genghis Khan all too much, so I don't know how much do you that. Think? Led how to many anything. people did the invention of like penicillin save? Ooh, we discovered ooh, that accidentally, that's a right? Good one. Also, there is the Jewish scientist who worked on Zyklon B, who was like credited with saving billions of lives because of the fucking fertilizer. I think yeah, it wasn't. He, like, wasn't a uh, yeah, similar to that. Wasn't Norman Burlog the guy who saved billions of lives because of the way that he engineered food? I don't think we're talking about the same guy, but it's a very no, similar we're story. Talking about Fritz Haber, uh. apparently. Yeah, he was a. Uh... <laughs> He worked on the same poison that was eventually used to gas his own family, which is, I guess, ironic. But he also saved billions mm. of lives to his credit, so... <laughs> I don't know. What, what is it? significant? I'd say when we invented the internet, that definitely Ugh. changed. Yeah, I, I hate that answer. I hate it. It doesn't feel I, like I'm so, I know, it's a boring answer, Jackson, but what do you want? You're telling me the creation of the internet is more influential on the world than the Romans conquering half of the planet potentially depending far on how you more. defined it yeah oh. far more are you kidding me but jackson, jackson, the Romans, it might not fall. even be the internet jackson the internet is like the exact keystone to globalization in the entire modern era like that's yeah that's but probably might not more have influential had it than the roman in empire a new era yeah we might not have had like, it well so did the romans they they uh, ushered on the roman empire Era. But you gotta, but you gotta realize the Roman Empire spanned, yes, a great portion of the world, but the internet's influence spans the entire globe. There's not a single country that isn't influenced by the internet. That, that's a good point, but I would, I, I think yeah. every country Except has like been North influenced. Korea. <laughs> well, no, they've got their own internet, Well, right? no, no, there, there, there's a Steam account in North Korea, remember? Yeah, there's yeah, one it's Steam true. account. Yeah. Also, Jackson, remember the Romans didn't have NFTs, so what the fuck were they really doing? <laughs> yeah, what time? were they making money off of, Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I do think, yes, sure, it's a boring answer, but I do think that the internet is the greatest invention of our fucking species. That and probably space travel. But we do nothing so, with space travel. Yeah, I was about to say, we haven't really done yeah, anything with sad, it. Yeah, that's sad, isn't it's it? It's so annoying. Yeah. You'd think by this point, and they're giving us these all these empty promises, both NASA and like Elon Musk are saying, in your lifetime, you'll see people on Mars. It's like, okay, cool, whatever. I don't really care about that, though. Can we do something practical with it? Like, I don't know, launch nuclear waste into the sun? So the hippies can <laughs> finally shut the fuck up about it. Do you <laughs> want to uh, have that Futurama episode where we have a ball of garbage that yeah. comes back to Earth? <laughs> yeah, we should. Stop, <laughs> like, what we you should, want. We should absolutely not send <laughs> stuff into space. Space waste. Um, Launch I it think into the sun. I think Kyle watched putting... that episode of Futurama where they stop global warming by dropping ice in the ocean, and he was like, "That's a really good idea." Only we had ice. Let's get started on that immediately. <laughs> good episodes. Yeah, um, okay, great can show. we then at least launch the hippies into space? I'm so fucking sick of these <laughs> arguments, man. Like, like, whatever, don't get me started on the Germans again, but they're still, like, we reopen all the coal plants now because we're gonna freeze to death in the winter. So that's awesome. And it's all because they are allergic to nuclear energy and they have this superstitious fear that, like, nuclear waste is basically just green sludge in a barrel. Oh, Which it God. isn't, it's completely safe, you know, nuclear waste has never killed anyone, but if we could at least launch it into space, I mean those SpaceX rockets, they can carry several tons, right? Put know. them on there. Shoot them, jettison them out. What, what, what is it like, fully Angus on the board sun. with just launching... <laughs> yeah, I guess the sun it, god did get mad. What if it turns the sun into like a giant nuclear fusion reactor? Wouldn't that be crazy? It already is. <laughs> well, so the sun is. Let's make this <laughs> easier. Let's make it easier. Now the you sun, sound like a German. <laughs> let's let's make this a lot easier. The sun is pretty far away, and getting stuff close to it, making sure it hits its goal and like burns up correctly, that's pretty difficult. Instead, we should make Mars our personal trash dump. What else are we yeah. doing with it? 
Yeah, there's the nothing moon. else to do with there's it. There's nothing there. There's no theme parks. There's like no water. It sucks. Who would go there? Mars says water. Well, not enough. I'm like, I'm thirsty on Mars. Like, I'm not going to just <laughs> find it, you know? Mars is still kind of cool. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's so unknown, but the moon is so fucking boring. Have you guys ever looked at footage of the moon? It's like, yeah, the oh, moon's this is fucking a lame. Fucking moon's dumb. boring, Someone but I love decorate it. decorate this place. Yeah, I love I the moon. I think the moon's cool. Yeah. You ever looked at it at night? It's pretty cool. It's pretty. Yeah, it's it's nice. really not. It's so what fucking do you mean? weird. It's so pretty. It's it's just okay, a boring, Charlie. plain ass rock. I'm sorry, my subjective opinion that it's pretty is wrong. It is wrong. <laughs> even in even in Rugrats, when they visit the moon, they were bored. Like it's just not a cool place to be. <laughs> you base all of your opinions of what the Rugrats think. Yeah. Well, I'm just kidding. like they're babies and they have fun doing everything, but even they didn't have fun on the moon. It's just a boring little fucking. Neil rock. Armstrong had a ton of fun on the moon though he got to go golfing he rode a dune buggy around that shit looks awesome well, yeah, once again, once again calling a, a futurama when they get to the moon they built a fucking theme park there remember that's isn't awesome it, isn't it theorized that the moon came from us well not us but like earth like yes. it was remnants of earth or something the popular like that? the popular theory is a long 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 fucking time ago a piece of the earth was smashed by debris and broke off into a piece and formed the moon see yeah, that's pretty cool yeah, that's cool too. The moon's cool. cool. You guys are wrong. The moon's cool. I know. I'm on your side, Andrew. Mm. I think the moon's very cool. Thank you. I like the moon. What I think it's it just a fascinating us, thing. Wait, what does it do for us? What do you Regulates mean? Regulates the tides. tides. It gives yeah, us night time. Somebody, who cares? Eh. I mean, you can do that <laughs> with all the trash on it, can't it? <laughs> oh, you're. No, yeah, we should put trash on the moon. It's not going to change much. That's a good idea. Yeah, well, it's yeah. going to make it smelly. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine if we get to the point where there's so much trash on the moon we just look up and it's a just giant pile of garbage in the sky it's just fu like stink fumes are coming off it and everything <laughs> yeah. visible stink fumes <laughs> that turns it's green. a fucking cartoon yeah <laughs> it's just green I mean, I would pref I would much prefer that than have all the fucking plastic in the oceans in our in our literal bloodstreams now where That's does all depressing. this rubbish that was a fucking I was actually huh? thinking about that the other day, like, I take out rubbish from my place, obviously, every day, and put it in a bin, and then I really got to thinking about that, like, where does, where does all this rubbish go? <laughs> what are we doing with this rubbish? And it, like... Landfills. Yeah, well, I, yeah. I, I know the answer, but, like, it's really hard to actually, like, quantify everyone doing that every single day, and all of that rubbish collectively going to one spot and being put in the ground. It's, like, so yeah. much rubbish. It's crazy. And everyone on the, the water, planet. And then in our blood. Yep. I don't know the <laughs> what. Oh, yeah, I guess there is. My, a micro blood. He's he's talking about microplastics yeah, yeah. mainly. Yummy. Well, uh, trash in general. I'll I'll never forget. I was a very young boy and I had no idea how the world works. And I sat down one day, I guess on Discovery Channel or something, and they had a documentary about how water is treated, like where the water from our taps actually comes from. And my mind was blown at like water treatment facilities where they literally just take shit water and boil it and then <laughs> refeed it to us. And I was like, what? We're <laughs> drinking shit? Literally? You just you just boil it a little bit and you tell us it's fine now? It's the greatest so recycling disgusted. trick. Well, yeah, I, I used to always think about that when I was little too. Like the water I'm drinking right now came from someone else. That's pretty cool. Thank you for the gift. It's probably former piss. Isn't that fun? Well, yeah. Former piss. It's yeah. fucking shits, plastics. Uh, I think the uh, like estrogen, and it is also like yeah, harming people. But it's like all sorts of d bullshit in it. Who's putting estrogen in but the keep water? Keep in mind. Keep in mind. Like it's better than water we're just gonna find in the wild, which is gonna have like animal shit and well, parasites and dirt. It's still water. Oh yeah. Through the yeah. water cycle, Brain everything goes through that same. Yeah. Same process. Yeah, like, know, like a lot of people still... are obsessed with like pure water. Like they're like, oh, this water came from a natural spring in this part of the rocky Himalayas. And it's like, it's not from a plant. It's, that. it's like, number one, that's bullshit. All water is, that we get is from plants and fucking tanks. And number two, that water is probably not that clean. There's probably tons of shit in there that you don't want to be drinking. Like, get it out. Purify my water, please. I want that. It's pretty cool that yeah. the water that we drink possibly was old piss from like Genghis Khan or someone historically <laughs> significant. <laughs> like it's likely that we've actually drank that water, at least one of us. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a little your fraction of, of his power. 
Yeah. yeah. Touching greatness. Well, what's the Those what's the other zone in me. what's <laughs> what's the other statistic? Not only did he kill ten percent of the earth, but like one sixth of China can trace ancestry back to him. Yeah, it's or really something else. Probably that's ridiculous. He repopulated a tenth of the earth too. He just replaced yeah, them all. Really, that that man just he just never stopped. He partied every day. Like good lord. Well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's it. It was mainly rape. Yeah. I don't know about partying, <laughs> yeah. but all right. he parties hard. All right, that was a friendly way he of putting like raping Cosby. and pillaging across the whole. Uh, yeah, you know, partying. <laughs> hey, he had. Fun. What do you do? What do you guys do when you go out on a Friday night? Not that. <laughs> <laughs> I take you know, my saber party. and my trusty horse. Yeah, <laughs> don, don my traditional armor. Practice my battle cries. Man, it must have been awesome to live back in those days when he could still go around conquering. Not for anyone that wasn't Genghis Khan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it would have been the worst time to be alive. Like, yeah, absolutely. None of us, none of us here would be anything more than just another body in the way yeah, of destruction, a or a, or a slave, or a, something terrible. Yeah. yeah. Okay, being part of his army must have been awesome, though. Oh, even that, or at least his inner circle, <laughs> just so like his I... close buddies. I think about that a lot. I think about those things that people bring up a lot, like, oh, wow, it must have been awesome to be like George Washington or like Genghis Khan or this and that. And it's like, I think about it and I go, no, I'd rather have modern medicine and like the internet and, you know, all the things we have now rather than what oh, they had yeah, to deal I mean, with back look, then. But George the Washington's got a legacy, today, which you probably won. That's pretty cool. Like, you live on forever. That like Genghis cool, Khan didn't yeah. have electricity, you know, or air didn't conditioning. Didn't need it. That's how fucking awesome it was to be Genghis Khan. <laughs> he didn't need electricity That's to true. become but he a, like a household name. He, he would have benefited, benefited greatly. greatly. Yeah, he would have been really happy he with technology. But knowing yeah. Genghis Khan, if he had electricity, he just would have made like thunder whips and shit to like scare also his enemies. He would have been super popular on Twitter too. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, probably. I feel like he would have been on Truth Social. His he his tagline is the type. His tagline probably would have been like "I'm your dad" or something. <laughs> and he would have been <laughs> your daddy. He would have been accurate too. <laughs> yeah, it would have been totally accurate. Yeah, it's kind of whack that we live more comfortably than most kings in history. Mm -hmm. I don't. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. It's hard to. We fathom. do no, we do, man. Because like, we think have about more it. Back, at least you back, don't have slaves and shits, obviously. But yeah, like Andrew said, you don't die if you get a fucking infection in your foot. You know, it's it's not only that we have more access to anything they could ever perceive. Think about way back in way olden king times. You're the fucking king, and you sit down and you go, "I think I'll enjoy a kingly treat that only the king can afford." And then your servant comes in and says, "Here is the most decadent treat in the land: four." strawberries like i can go to the fucking <laughs> store and buy like 30. that is true yeah yeah like we have it way better than they did that king's they probably never no even heard concept. of sushi or anime exactly right. they they, <laughs> anime. they get nothing from around the world and yet yes, we can get it out at the snap of a fucking finger <laughs> yeah. Yeah. bring me your finest manga now i wish to read upon it <laughs> dubbed in five languages <laughs> oh, man. Wow, you have dub and sub in your time period? Amazing. <laughs> uh, speaking of, I think that's a great transition to talk about ExpressVPN. How about oh, you? you bet. Mm. Mm. That is a good I transition. Just now, I just now mentioned dub and sub in your anime language. And let me tell you, if you're a king of any continent, of any time period, you're going to want to make sure that when you watch Netflix or other streaming services, you do it with a VPN. Because why would you, royalty, your highness, get a, I don't know, maybe 20% of your intended product? Because some of you out there probably already know this and you're smart. But most streaming services, they're region locked. They can only broadcast certain things in certain parts of the world due to, like, licensing, copyrights, censorship laws, all sorts of things. So why would you pay a sub to something that just gives you a subpar amount of content? Makes no sense. You'd be crazy. Use ExpressVPN, swap your location around, and watch every bit of content that you want on Netflix and other services.
You'll also get blazing fast speeds with zero buffering. Phones, laptops, media consoles, smart TVs, and more can connect. You're going to be able to gain access to 94 different country servers. Do yourself a favor. Follow Kaya's example and put yourself in South Korea and take in all of the weird dramas that you can. Because mm -hmm. boy, they are cranking those out now. Be smart. Stop paying full price for streaming services and getting only a fraction of the content. Get your money's worth at expressvpn.com slash official. Don't forget to use the link at expressvpn.com slash official to get an extra free month, ex extra free months, haha, <laughs> extra three months for free at expressvpn.com slash official. And while you're there watching something, opening your eyeballs, gluing them to the TV, you're going to say, boy, I wish I didn't have to watch television standing up. This sucks. Like, maybe I could get comfortable doing this. Maybe something could happen that could make me fall asleep with it. Oh, what's this? A comfortable mattress right in my home? And it's all thanks to Helix. Well, that's incredible, but how did Helix seem to know the exact kind of mattress that I needed, whether I'm a side, back, or stomach sleeper, whether I sleep hot or I want to I wanna cool down because of it, or whether I'm a plus-size person, need a larger one or maybe a smaller one for my tiny college dorm? How did they know? Well, the Helix Sleep Quiz is going to take you just two minutes to complete, and they are going to match your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. I, at this point in my life, personally, have had, oh, I don't know, 15, 16 different people sleep on my extra Helix mattress that I throw down for them when they come to visit. And Me included. Every, yes, Jackson included. Loved every it. single one of them has said it's super comfy, feels super good, and they, they don't believe it. They're like, wait, this is like an internet mattress? Like, you didn't go to a store and buy this? And I'm like, no, it's a fucking Helix mattress from the internet. Isn't that great? And you can get $200 off of all your orders and two free pillows by going to helixsleep.com slash official. That's $200 off of all mattress orders and two free pillows at helixsleep.com slash official. So you've watched your anime in whatever language you want, maybe even French if you're weird like that. And you've gotten a great night's sleep while watching it, dubbed or sub, your choice thanks to your VPN, and a great night's sleep thanks to that mattress. And you wake up, and you go, oh, shit, I've gotten so fat. I'm, I'm flabby and out of shape and gross and bulky and uh, pudgy in areas I don't like because I've been sleeping and watching anime all day. What do I do? <laughs> well, it's time to work out, son. And the good way that you could do that is with FitBod. Look, a lot of people, when they're starting working out, they get intimidated because they go, oh, j -j 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 gym, but that has like equipment and people who judge me. I can't do that. Cool, dude. FitBot has an entire selection of home workouts and body weight routines. So even if you don't have a gym membership, you can get into shape. But if you do, they will be able to calculate all of the equipment that you have at your gym. So if it's a home gym or a like big fucking sign up contractual center either works and you will be able to get a full customized workout for you they track what workouts you have done utilize their algorithm to track your progress and adapt each session to make sure that you hit your goals and change things up so you don't get bored it's also going to let you make sure that when summer is still going on as it is right now. We're recording this in mid-July. You still have time. You're going to get that beach body that you want and go to Muscle Beach with Arnold Schwarzenegger and be like, look, you used to lift these weights, but now I do it. Thanks, Arnold. And Arnold's going to probably just cough up some dust because he's old as shit. Look, the FitBot app is there. Download it. Works with Apple Watch, Wear OS, SmartWatch, apps like Fitbit, Strava, Apple Health, etc etc crush your summer fitness goals with a personalized workout from fitbod to improve your new look get 25 percent off of your subscription or try the app for free when you sign up at fitbod.me official 25 percent off of a subscription or try it for free at fitbod.me official sweet thank you thank you sponsors yeah, so going back to Genghis Khan, though, I don't think he would have been afraid of anything. And I think that would be a really cool feeling. 
Like you must, he must have felt like extremely True. powerful. So, I, really, I think, I think, yeah, no, I don't think you would have been afraid. That, I think if you're that powerful, if anything, you have more to worry about than the average peasants because everyone's gunning for your head. Yeah. Also, they're true. all coming for the title. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna make an anecdote about how he doesn't have to worry about like getting cyber bullied or anything now, or teabagged in his favorite video <laughs> game. But I, I, I guess, yeah, <laughs> like political we're, intrigue and assassinations and stuff were a bit more rampant back then. You're right. We're just retroactively writing the plot to Bill and Ted here, where we pull the historical figures into real life and apply them to this shit. Well, yeah. Anyone? Am I the only one who saw that movie? Yeah, you're the only one. Man. I saw I saw it a long time ago. I just don't yeah. remember it. Remember they uh, they go through time and they pull out like Billy the Kid and Genghis Khan and they bring it to the shopping mall and they're like Genghis Khan, this is clothes. Put these on. Shit like that. <laughs> yeah, all, I mean, <laughs> all sounds I'm like saying, Bill and Ted. <laughs> all I'm saying is if we want to make Genghis Khan a gamer, I don't know how well it would go. You know. Well, yeah, kind of, well, well he doesn't. He doesn't need to be a gamer. That's true. Well, why not? Everyone does. True. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'd be great at like Fall Guys or something. <laughs> no, I think he would play Stardew Valley. That's it. You have a Nintendo Switch. Oh, he'd relax. Yeah. He'd, he'd play Animal Crossing just to unwind after a long day. <laughs> <laughs> a long day of raping and pillaging. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, he would play the Switch because then he could bring it on his conquests and his pillages. <laughs> he's playing on horseback. As yeah. always. <laughs> he's got a spear village. in one hand and the Switch in the other. <laughs> As opposed to what, like his computer in his main tent at home? <laughs> yeah. like, can we have a home? <laughs> can we get some fan art out there for those of you listening who draw fan art? I want to see like gamer Genghis Khan like playing on his Switch after a long day of beheading his enemies and shit. I'd love to see that. Well, that could that could be the uh, thumbnail for this week. I can get that. Done. Yeah, do the thumbnail. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. I don't Maybe the most the influential the shirt. Maybe the most influential week in history is when the the term gamer started being adopted. No, no, no. No, mm. no. Don't be ridiculous. No, no come on. The term no, gamer has been around as long as we have. <laughs> Wait, Maybe we even as, before as the as dawn of humans. Or as in humans. Themselves. Humans. Like, uh, it, since the dawn of time. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the Big Bang was actually a godly figure whispering the word gamer? No, it's Maybe. it's certainly possible. The Big Bang was caused by a uh, uh, god flipping the table after a very angry <laughs> match of like CS:GO or something like that. Just super. I angry. knew you were gonna say CS:GO. Why did I, I know the only, that it was god the only was a CS:GO player? Yeah, it was the only competitive game I could bring to mind quickly. I don't know why. <laughs> well, is Valorant overtaking is CS:GO by this point? Casually, yeah, but competitively, CS:GO still pops. Yesterday, they had a tournament with a million viewers. Oh, nice. Well, I know that CSGO is still, like, the dominant game in Europe. Yeah. Always will be, too, I imagine, unless they catastrophically fuck themselves somehow. <laughs> yeah, unless the unless the entire infrastructure of Russia is completely collapsed, they will still be, like, the biggest CSGO fans. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, like, nothing's added to CSGO anymore, right? So there's no way they can fuck it. It just exists. <laughs> they added one weapon, like, I think yeah, five I years that. ago or something. <laughs> <laughs> and it caused such an uproar, right? Did they remove that gun, or did they? Like, they rebalanced it? it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, the revolver, I believe. Mm -hmm. Well, that Crazy. can be it since uh, own appeal. You know, you don't always want things changing around. Sometimes you just want the same old game that you love. Well, yeah, and especially in a competitive play, scene. I think you want you want something yeah. that you can reliably like uh, perfect. Mm -hmm. And if don't everything's the changing also every week. Dota? Whenever I've ever tried Dota, I've always gotten matched with fucking Russians yelling in my ear, and I couldn't, like, turn the voice <laughs> chat off fast enough. And they really don't give a shit. They don't care about any, like, Western notion of, oh, don't bully each other on Honor voice chat. Like, they will <laughs> They will scream the meanest shit at you well, are <laughs> with you... their broken English oh, if they think you're English. feeding the enemy team. I was gonna say, maybe they just have, like, <laughs> aggressive voices, and they're just shouting really nice things at you in Russian. You don't know. Yeah, complex. they're trying to be friendly. About it. They're they're trying to say like good fucking job, but you're just yeah, like offended and good scared. Good game, Kyle also. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love those guys. What do you guys think is the most toxic game in the world? Like the most League toxic of Legends. Community? Yeah, it's gonna That's be League. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think about it a lot. I don't know if it'd be League. I think League's definitely up there. 
but I always still have to think it's got to be something like Overwatch. The only people left in Overwatch now are the super sweaty, like, really miserable people. Yeah, I but think I isn't, it, isn't it like a PC crowd, though, Overwatch? No, what? No. Yeah, no, but that's what I was going to say. The PC crowds are usually way more toxic. So think of this. Mm -hmm. We all know those stories of, like, Tumblr people... Like, someone will make a Steven Universe or something fan art, and then some other person will try to bully them into suicide mm -hmm. because they drew the character with a wrong skin color. And I'm thinking, like, I've never heard of such a thing happening in, like, the Mortal Kombat fan base, you know? The most <laughs> fucked up games have the most wholesome fan bases, like uh, Doom 2. It's like, all these guys are really fucking nice, actually. And all the people who attach themselves to squeaky clean fan uh, products, they kind of suck hard. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I, I would agree with that. So the reason I, I choose League every time is League still has no voice chat, right? Yes. Uh, so to me, that makes it so much easier to dehumanize your teammates. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what makes <laughs> a toxic voice off. chat a thing, right? <laughs> so if you're playing Overwatch or you're playing Dota or any of those other games, you at least have a voice and you can talk to someone and you, yeah, you'll use it to like swear at them. But a lot of times it can diffuse tension if you're trying to work together, you talk to them and you hang out. But with League, it's, there's nothing connecting you to your teammates. So when they fuck up or they call you an asshole in text chat, it's just like, they're the fucking enemy. They are the worst human on the planet. You want nothing more than to ruin their day. That's my logic behind it. Mm. Yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. I don't know. Um, I haven't played a competitive game in ages. I only play like with friends at this point, like close friends. So every game I play is toxic, but also fun in a fun way. Mm -hmm. What um, because, <clears throat> it, how, maybe not how toxic is the right way to go? How toxic does like magic get, Andrew? Since you're the one with the most experience um, with like magic stuff. So really not. The only thing that happens in magic is people get very salty at losses. Yeah, um, which is understandable because it's a long, like, stressful game when it's a really good match. So to lose is just like, it fucking sucks. Uh, but no, people, people in the community are genuinely very nice. But it's just people get really mad after they lose. That's about it. That happens that's as far as it goes. Competitive game, though. I yeah. Think. yeah, that's really it. Yeah. But the, the difference being that it's a face-to-face -face game, so people will be like, like, let me, let me put it this way. I went to a tournament once, and I beat a guy in a very close game. And at the end, you know, you typically go, like, good game and offer a handshake or a fist bump. And he literally said, yeah, go fuck yourself and picked up his stuff and left. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. How, like, that, how that's as far as it him? goes, though, you know? Like, then they calm down and they're nice. But that's that's really as far did as he, it goes. Did he apologize to you later? Yeah, he did. Like, after, after, like, 20 minutes, he came back. He was like, sorry, I was just mad. I'm like, yeah, I get it. It happens. Did you call him a bitch for backpedaling? That's yeah. some real beta <laughs> shit. You should have then tell, told him to go fuck himself. And then I, I apologize. Off. I was like, I'm sorry I made you mad. Please, yeah. Please let's be friends. <laughs> let's be f friends. <laughs> it's always the cringiest shit whenever you see like a speedrunning competition or something and then the loser gets pout pouty and he like refuses to shake hands or fucking throws a tantrum and goes out of mm -hmm. the room like bro at the end of the day it's a goddamn game yeah Come i get on. emotions are high one, I, I really dislike like poor sportsmanship and if you want to the one i always hate sports, yeah. you, you need the it. one i will always hate like i i understand getting frustrated and in the moment you don't want to like talk to your opponent i get that but when you're playing smash or a fighting game and they break controllers I love watching it. Though. I love oh watching it, but it's so it. fucking childish, you yeah, know? How do you get really so is. angry at a video game? I'll never forget <laughs> that video of Wings of Redemption, like, whimpering like a to dog crack that it got in half. kicked. <laughs> and then, yeah, he cracks his controller and punches the wall. It's like, <laughs> yeah. what are you getting so mad about? I've never been the, that mad where I've tried to, like, break a controller or, or the punch moment, a wall. The moment where you've never been wings, good at gaming. The moment where Wings of Redemption <laughs> grabs his mic and goes, look here, look, listen, will forever yeah. be ingrained in my head. I will never forget that until my deathbed. And it turned into a meme. And the, uh, yeah. Do you remember the dog whimpering? Is yeah. that also seared into your brain, Andrew? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like at some point, like having pity for someone loops back to contempt. Like, I, <laughs> the, like something biological in me wants to reject you from my monkey tribe because your weakness, your genes are weak. This is pathetic. Uh. You should not behave this way. Classic. <laughs> I, I did. I, I'd be like the mother monkey in this uh, clan of 
tires in because I genuinely did feel bad in that moment for Wings of Redemption. You always do. You always I take know. like this like uh, bleeding heart perspective on mm-hmm. things where it's like, you must just be going through a hard time. You can't be mad at him. Well, I think you I can just... be mad at him for his other things. But in that moment where he's breaking down, it's just, I don't know. It's just sad. Because it is Yeah, pathetic. but you got to remember, like, in that same moment, maybe two hours ago, he was telling people, all right, if you're not donating, I'm turning off the stream. Yeah, you but know? Look, well, where, my, where my pity comes from is, like, this isn't, this person crying here, this isn't a good existence for him. <laughs> this isn't so, something to strive for. Like, it's, it's so bleak. I couldn't imagine being that, like, but, broken. But he can take steps to fix it, but instead he goes back to the same routine, which is clearly unhealthy and not working. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying, like... I don't know. I'm not saying like. Granted, his fan base takes it too far. Like when we talked about where he's trying to get a real job and they're like doxing him and calling his workplace. Yeah. Like that's that's way too far. That's not okay. But when he's on stream and like telling fans like, okay, you need to donate or I'm not playing this or <clears throat> you know you need to stop with the comments because like oh. and he's just like over, clearly overreacting. You know that's that's fine. Yeah, that's because because he's specifically... bringing it on himself. The thing that he had a breakdown over in that video was because people kept joining his Call of Duty lobby and kept yeah. griefing him in the game. It's like, I mean, just make it fun. It, yeah, it, it's genuinely I, funny when you watch the video of him playing and people are just fucking fucking with him. I wish someone cared enough about me to fuck with my <laughs> Worms lobby that much. It's like, this is dedication. That point. By that point, you have to embrace it and roll with it. His whole point was he was trying yeah. to be like good at the game and get a high score. But if people are following you around and fucking it up, I don't know, start like dancing with their characters. Start like just fucking around with the game. It doesn't matter. It Use happens it as a challenge. To, it happens to big streamers all the time in Battle Royales where they get stream sniped and you just have to fucking take it and like roll with it. That's in all ge- you can do. In general, though, that's why I, I, get, I get pity or empathy. Uh, empathy is not the right word. Pity mostly is pity in that situation for him because like that kind of those breakdowns don't happen in a vacuum it's indicative of just a much larger issue of a just like i said before like a shitty life and when you're in that such a uh such a bleak circumstance or existence then there's no way he's just gonna dance around with characters in a video game because he's already in the hole so that's where the pity comes from. But there's a lot of people that that could also apply to that don't project it outwardly. There's tons of shut-ins and people with bad social yeah, and lives and bad situations. You can have empathy situations. for them too. There's enough empathy to go around. Oh No, there's oh. a finite pool of empathy. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, empathy to pull from. <laughs> yeah. And Jackson yeah. Stop wasting it on him, it. Jackson. Yeah, Save I'm, some I'm, for I'm, me. I'm pretty selfish with the empathy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Call me old fashioned. I don't think a forty year old man should be whimpering on the internet because of a fucking video game. Because it got bullied in a video game. Come on. Well, yeah, like I said, there's more to it than that though. Like he's a I know, over, but overweight, still. unhealthy it sounds, individual. It sounds yeah, it sounds like you're less like empathizing with the moment and the situation and more empathizing with Wings himself and well, his life. That's what I that's what I said. Like the entire existence or pathetic life of Wings is what I find, what I have empathy towards. Like obviously he should be doing something to fix that, but he's a pathetic person that won't. So And that's and that's why with Wings specifically, I you know, I don't try to give him that much credit because he went through a lot of steps to fix it, but he ended up manipulating his fans. Like he got the money to get weight loss surgery and then allegedly spend it on a new truck, you know? Like Yeah, but that truck <laughs> could also be used to get himself to the gym, Andrew. You don't know what he's using it for. True. True. That's true. <laughs> yeah, one of these uh, one of the PKA PKA guys, uh not Woody, who's the other one? The gun one? Kyle. Uh, FPS Kyle. Russia yeah, F- or yeah, Kyle? FPS Russia. Yeah, I think it's Kyle. Kyle. Anyway, yeah, he he off he like brought wings out for like a two week retreat at his at his yep. estate or whatever to like put him through the uh workout session himself like actually like privately train him pretty much into losing weight and he just he gave up he he well, no actually i think he did it eventually but then he went <laughs> so, back and like so there were a, fell back there were a few habits. there were a few parts to that first of all that guy whether it was woody or kyle i don't remember i think it actually was woody but it could be either mm, he i'm pretty actually, sure it was kyle cuz kyle's the one that got yeah. really big into fitness okay yeah, he's like I, yeah, so either way, the one that had to do it to put him up for it actually remodeled part of his house to yeah. help accommodate him. Like a bigger and toilet. And then number and stuff. two, 
Number two, Woody. they planned a giant wilderness retreat for all of them. And they were like, we're going to go for a week in the woods. And it's going to be like a bunch of hiking, a bunch of camping, maybe some swimming. It'll be great. And Wings kept like being like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to commit to it. I'm going to do the weight loss. And as they were on the road for the trip, he was like, yeah, I'm not coming. <laughs> so like, <laughs> like he, he warrants it, you know, like there's again, there's a line, there's a limit. But some of it, he just warrants. He brings it on himself. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Kaya, who's your current? You always have a lol cow on standby. Who's your current? Ethan Ralph. I would really have to do a deep dive to explain to you guys who he is, but he's this super white trash, just complete scumbag, piece of shit, drug addict, gambling addict, every type of pig imaginable. And... <laughs> His most recent exploits include going to Portugal, getting his ass kicked, coming home, going back to Portugal and getting his ass kicked again, just out of the blue for no fucking reason. He just keeps going to Portugal well, to get his ass kicked. Is there a club in Portugal? Why, is it, why, why Portugal? What's there for him? So the first time he went there, he was trying to brag. So he went there to spite another content creator called Andy Worski. Um, he basically was like, I can go to Portugal anytime. Unlike you, I'm welcome there and I, I'm going to have five star days. I'm going to live like a rich American tourist. So he goes there and gets his ass kicked. He has his uh, orbital bone broken by what oh. many people assume to be a pimp. And ever since then, his <laughs> eyes have been lopsided. So he, now he has to wear sunglasses <laughs> inside all the time. So I'm everyone like, makes fun of him. fuck. Wait, hold on. You're, you're underselling you the damage. So yeah, I looked at I looked up his Twitter here. His whole fucking face got rearranged from this. Oh my, oh god. my yeah. god! I'm reading about this guy and his his rap sheet of wacky shit is long as hell. Yeah. Oh my god! Well, I've I'm seen not, this guy's Twitter he's a making like, creepo. Yeah, I've seen this guy's Twitter making the worst takes of all time. I didn't realize that he was like a like an actual figure. I thought he was just one of those verified troll accounts. Holy oh, shit! I know about him. Twitter. Like what you see on Twitter is him being extremely tame because he really doesn't want to lose the blue check mark. But he is an absolute just trash person, complete trash bag. Anyway, he, he's he the Ralph for to... right? That's his that's his show that he runs. Yeah, the Ralph for right? Mm -hmm. So he comes back to America. Everyone's obviously making fun of him. Uh, he's very upset. He goes on a show with a guy called Mr. Medicur, which maybe you guys may have heard of. He was like, he got popular back in the anti-SJW YouTuber era of like five years ago or so. Wasn't he and one of the guys reason, who ran with uh, Sargon of Akkad, that whole thing? I don't know. God, all these no, names I don't think he ever familiar. ran for anything. This guy they, is he anonymous. Was, uh, since. He was one of those guys, their whole group would like, they would just make videos where they'd take like SJW news and then for like an hour, oh, yeah, yeah. they'd be like, yeah, here's what's going on with this and just like break it down and like rant about why it's bad. That yeah, was a huge much. era for YouTube for like two whole years or something. It was. And Mr. Medicare at some point disappeared because apparently he got cancer. So he oh. retired or went into hiatus. So he comes back, kind of, sort of, recently, and he goes on a stream with um, Ethan Ralph and Mundane Matt, the Boulder King, actually. And Ethan Ralph has this fucking breakdown because I think he was extremely drunk and also high on pills. And he starts crying during the stream that Medicare doesn't love him and why aren't you my friend anymore and why are you making fun of me <laughs> for getting my ass kicked in Portugal and completely humiliates himself. If I knew that we were going to talk about this, I would have brought clips. It's amazing. Type it into Google if you're uh, sorry. Type it into YouTube if you're listening to this and you're, you're interested. Mundane Matt, Ethan Ralph or Mr. Medicare is something. It's like a two hour stream of him just crying, sitting there, by the way, with his sunglasses. Um, anyway, and then out of nowhere... Last month, he goes back to Portugal. Apropos of nothing. <laughs> like, I didn't even announce it. No one knows why. All of a sudden, an American just flies to fucking Portugal. But he goes there, and he gets live stream sniped by another IRL streamer, yeah, whose I name I forget. One. But they kick his ass. And he On talks so much shit because he's white trash. But he looks like... They push him, and he stumbles down, and he looks so fat. He looks like a big, fat baby. <laughs> Just completely falling over, over and over. Kaya. And I don't know if you broke anything that time around. The only uh. things I remember about uh, Ethan Ralph, I saw a video of him like six months ago. This this one wasn't in Portugal. He was doing a speech somewhere and he got punched at that speech and fell over. And, and Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, he, he gets punched a lot. He gets beat up a lot for some reason. Um, He's and then trash. He, 
The other thing that I remember about him is uh, maybe you can uh, share more information about this if I'm wrong. Uh, but he ha- he's like 40 years old and he has he had like a 19 year old girlfriend and he released like pornography yeah. of her without her she was actually younger she was barely 18 and she wasn't entirely mentally competent as well so this is why her father got a restraining order against him eventually but yeah he had sex with her and again out of spite in order to spite someone on the internet he he got fucking drunk again on the internet as he was um as his enemy, I guess, was streaming. And he decides to send this guy porn of him fucking this girl where his micro penis is visible and he sticks his thumb up her asshole and then he pulls it out and he sniffs it. And I don't know why he would what share that fuck? fucking video, but... <laughs> it was, it was against, against her consent as well, right? Like, that, that's genuine yes, sexual is. Uh, assault. Yes, I don't think he got charged... I forget what happened with that court case. I think he pled guilty but it was kind of dropped or something so who is his audience what is he like what does he do when he's not getting his ass beat dude i have no idea i have tried this is uh, something that's unanimous in like all of us ethan ralph fans uh like followers of the lol cow is his show is actually unwatchable it's so fucking boring because all he does is he goes online yeah sorry he goes live he opens up like tucker carlson or fox news or cnn or something and he just comments on it that's it but most of it is just silence. He just sits there in silence with his stupid fucking sunglasses and he drinks and that's it. And sometimes he calls the weather lady a cunt. That's a pretty much the depth <laughs> of his political commentary. That's literally what's he, what's, it. He just, what's he got against the weather lady? Uh, well, uh, by leather, uh, weather lady, I mean just any woman on the news for some fucking reason. Oh, He's like, just, yeah. he gets mad at them. Anyway, so yeah, he uh, publishes this revenge porn, gets in trouble for it. He has a son with her whom he is not allowed to see. What? <laughs> I didn't know about that. <laughs> he has never seen his son, no. So, time moves on, and there was this guy on YouTube a while ago. His name was Digibro, who's a pedophile. He's an open, you know, attracted to, like, lolicon manga that he jerks off to, and he had a girlfriend called Pansu Party. They break up. Ethan starts dating her. She's also a lolicon, by the way. She has, like, lolicon posters on her wall and shit. Um, they start dating. He goes over to Digibro's house and gets his ass kicked again by like a oh pack of, by Jesus a fucking pedophile God. and his roommates that just punch him in the mouth and tell him to leave <laughs> as he's yelling. <laughs> and the reason they got in a fight is because they said that he's five foot one and he got angry. So he walked up to their fucking door and initiated a fight with them. Anyway, At time some passes point he's and gonna, now he, Party he, is also pregnant. He's going to get like... Hmm? He's going to get, like, fighting lessons or something if he's going to keep putting himself in these situations. Have you looked at him? There's no amount of lessons on the planet. There's no sensei in the world that can turn that body into a weapon. Like, the best (laughs) you could do is teach him how to do, like, a a sonic roll, maybe. But why put yourself yourself in these situations if you can't fight? I don't know, man. This guy. Why do you talk so much shit? He talks so much shit about everyone. Okay, so most recently, uh, the, everyone had the right idea. Like, okay, you want to fight so fucking bad, dude. Let's at least have like a YouTuber fight, right? So I think Worski challenged him, and I think Worski was actually trying to take it seriously. He was like training and shit. And I know Keemstar was kind of sort of trying to set it up to have them fight, but Ethan Ralph wouldn't commit to it because, he, um, you know, Keemstar told him, look. If, if I'm going to set this up with, like, actual sponsors and shit, I need you to stop yelling the N-word in every show, okay? Like, after this stuff is done and we all get paid, then you can continue being whatever it is you want to do, man. But, like, during this, can you kind of sort of clean up your image? Stop yelling the N-word all the time on the internet. And Ethan went, no, that would be censoring myself. And I'm not going to do... I, I would only do that if Mr. Medicare says it's okay. And Medicare was like, what the fuck? Why do you need a permission slip from me? I'm not your fucking he, internet daddy. He what is sounds wrong like you? he wants Mr. Medicare to be his dad or something. Yes, <laughs> that's so the ongoing weird. meme. That's what everyone says. This is fucking sad. And Mr. Medicare, to his credit, I don't know this guy. I've never been into his videos. But he seems very honest. He keeps telling all of these people, I'm not your friend. I'm not your bro. I'm not your dad. Okay, I'm just a guy anonymously on the internet having fun. Like, we're not friends. Okay, I don't care about you, Ethan. And... This made Ethan cry. He shed actual tears oh on a fucking God. Monday Matt stream when he heard this shit. So anyway, he pushed out of the uh, YouTuber fights most recently. That's as far as I have kept up. 
Wait, was he the one that, that was meant to fight Boogie? Was he set up to yeah. fight? Yeah, I, I saw that on Twitter. Yeah, I just yes. looked at it a minute ago. Yes, I think so. Oh man, yeah. that actually would have been. I would. All right, to let's. See that that would have been amazing. L let's compromise and let's like twist this into one event. We get Ethan, Ralph, and Boogie versus Sam Hyde. Ooh. <laughs> Who Sam, would win? Sam Hyde. Sam Hyde. Yeah. Probably Sam Hyde. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if he's like two fatalities on his hands. Though. Uh, unless they literally <laughs> run at him from opposing sides, like two sumo wrestlers, <laughs> like boulders, <laughs> and squash him in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> you think? You think? You no, know, you think he'd grab both of their heads and clonk them together like, like a fucking pro wrestler? <laughs> I had no idea this whole Ethan Ralph rabbit hole was this wild. This is so fucking wacky, Kaya. Oh my god. So, so Dude, Charlie, you've never heard you. of him. No, like I said, I only really know of him from, like, the worst takes I've ever seen on Twitter. I recognize his Twitter yeah. profile. I, I can this send you some first videos I've if ever you like, this guy. or if I... you want, I could also prepare, like, a bunch of clips to show you who this guy really is. He's very entertaining, like, extremely so. He's so... He's one of those lol cows where you just wish him good health because you want him to just continue doing <laughs> what he does. He's just fucking hysterical, man. Every act of his is amazing. I love that he's a thing. Um... Yeah, drug addict, gambling addict, convicted felon, revenge pornographer, Ethan Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I what him. he does that a lot of other lol cows don't do is he goes and puts boots on the ground and gets yeah. his ass actually kicked. Like, that's yeah. pretty innovative. He oh, puts yeah. his money where his mouth is. He's just not very good at standing up for it. Yeah. Well, the whole, like, IP2 streamer, IRL streamer thing, it's so creepy to me, right? Like... I've seen some fucked up shit on the internet, but even I, when I go to one of their websites and tune into one of their streams, I feel dirty for some reason. Like I'm tuning oh, into their snuff porn. Yeah, they're, fucking I, they're like so it. awful. They're so fucking hard to watch. Yeah, like the, is this is this what the fucking CIA gets to see all day when they hack into people's webcams? It's just like their home lives where they like couples are fighting and shit. This is weird. But it, with Ethan and them, the whole deal is like again. Ethan went to Portugal to spite a content creator. And then a British content creator went to Portugal to spite Ethan, and then they run into each other. And they're like walking in the streets of Madrid, I think, or something. And the British guy says, hey, Ethan, look to your left. Or actually, you can see Ethan staring at his live chat, and the live chat is telling him, hey, Ethan, look left. And the guy's <laughs> standing next to him. It's so fucking bizarre. And then they start fighting. Yeah, I, I don't know how these guys get audiences. I really don't. Dude, it's just dumb. It's, it's, again, it's the stupid fucking Christ this Kang, we're white nationalists. Like, it's that crowd where, like, I guess as long as you say something remotely, like, racist and remotely quote the Bible inaccurately, then you're gonna get these dummies following you. And it's fucking bizarre. Like, how the fuck do any of you guys call this person a Christian? Yeah. Or, like, a leader of the white people? You guys know that subreddit so that's, like, bias, the master yeah. racers? Huh? Uh, yeah, it's like, well, why look at this person as a person to aspire to? It's got, it's got to be like mostly people like you watching just in bemusement. It has to be. No, I, the, I, I don't I've know. always said this and it's super true. No matter who you are or no matter what you say, you're always going to have an audience if you yes. have a platform, 100%. Yeah. Thanks so to there's the definitely, internet. Yeah. yeah, there's definitely supporters. I just can't even imagine why. Like, well, you, you have like to get the platform gets. first, though. You have to... Be yeah, but to, Jackson, like, he gets actual donors, like, he gets money, he, he doesn't just get, he gets viewers too, by the way, he gets way more than, like, someone like me does, he gets anywhere between 500 and 1,000 viewers oh uh, my for God, each show, that's actually insane. and he gets constant donations on his streams too, and that's not trolls like me giving him money, but I don't need, people like me don't watch his streams, like I said, they're fucking tedious to sit through, the only good parts are when he's so drunk out of his mind or so high on pain pills that he just starts screaming into the mic like a pig. Those are the entertaining parts. But no, it's the... You guys remember when we made fun of Nick Fuentes? He's currently um, hosting Ethan Ralph on his website, Cozy.tv, I think. And that's the crowd. This is like... You, you know, you'd think if you listen to like a fucking white nationalist or something, you'd think that their idols would look like Ivan Drago from Rocky, you know, just like this Aryan Fitz man or something. And no, instead it's like fucking Ethan Ralph and a closeted <laughs> incel. <laughs> That's exactly what I picture, though, when I think of like a white nationalist, to be fair, is someone like Ethan Ralph. Yeah. I know, but like in their own self-image, like how do you think that... How? how? How can you claim to be better than any race? How can you claim to be better than anyone? 
ever on earth. Denial. If this is who you are, you're like high out of your mind on whatever the fuck it is that you just popped out of that bottle and you're getting your ass kicked in the streets of Portugal. And a woman, by the way, had to step in to help him because I guess she thought that he was like a mentally handicapped child that they were bullying. <laughs> and so she was like doing the, you know, when in a fight video, women always try to break it up and they start screaming hysterically, almost making it worse, like almost bringing even more negative energy into the situation, <laughs> escalating it. It was that, but you know, her heart was kind of in the right place. Like she was trying to help this dumb, big, fat baby <laughs> getting knocked around. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. Has he so has he successfully ever even thrown a punch? Because I've watched him get his ass beat twice now. Has he fought um, back like at all? I actually don't know. That's a good question. I don't know if he's ever won a fight. He's dedicated well, that, his life even, to pacifism. I've n I'm not even well, looking for like a fight win. I'm, I'm even looking for the video, bare minimum of, yeah, a, like of one a punch. punch. <laughs> there's yeah. even a video where he's doing something at some fucking bar and he's on a microphone and a guy's yeah, like critiquing one. him and he goes, get him out of here, get him out of here. And the guy that he's like telling to get out of there punches him in the face. That's the and one instead, I of e yeah. instead of Ethan doing anything in retaliation, he just starts going, arrest him, arrest him, arrest <laughs> him. <laughs> so <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> I just watched him get his ass beat by Digibro. <laughs> here oh my god he doesn't all he does he just takes it like a punching bag he's like a punching bag but fatter like this is outrageous <laughs> that's that's um, why i'm saying like he's not even trying it's good like it's the same as Boogie. It's gonna be like a humiliation thing to some degree it's not but this he goes out of his way he went to portugal so, to man. fight this guy is just absolutely delusional, 100%. He is delusional, mate. He's the kind of guy who will drop like 800 bucks on a Louis Vuitton bag. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys about this, by the way. The first time he goes to Portugal, he has his purse stolen. Yes, he has a purse. And yes, it was a Louis Vuitton purse that he somehow bought. <laughs> Come on. Fucking stream donations. And I should you not, the next day, the Louis Vuitton purse gets listed on Portugal eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this could be humiliation. He, he has a purse. Yes, he has know, a purse man. and he has like expensive glasses. He Come has he, he has a lot of money and he, he knows not what to do with it like he'll go to expensive restaurants and dump like 80 bucks on a steak and then he'll take a photo of it and it's nothing but a dry steak it doesn't have seasoning <laughs> it doesn't have wedge like anything any sides it's just an empty fucking steak on a dish yeah but that's like most expensive restaurants that is most expensive yeah, but restaurants, it doesn't look like agree. a good steak is my point it looks like something you would heat up in a microwave and then put on a blank plate yeah that'd you be what i'm saying place. like it's mm -hmm. shit <laughs> oh, how... he's also a gambling addict who keeps going to Las Vegas to presumably cheat on his um wife. Oh my god, there's this whole arc of him like simping for another IP2 whore where she makes him buy her stuff off of her Amazon wish list and then she just went and fucked another dude. <laughs> she didn't <laughs> even <laughs> There is so much lore. Okay, <laughs> Jackson, you said you wanted to bring back corners, right? Maybe I, we could make like a Ethan Ralph history corner <laughs> where every week I tell you guys five minutes worth of Ethan Ralph lore. <laughs> how, so how long so has he been doing this? this? Yeah, well, it's oh, gonna be since like 2016 years, at least, because that was the big uh, rise in these kinds of streamers and stuff. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure be, when he started. I'm not too like in the know about his origin story. But yeah, he's been at it for a while. I mean, to give you guys perspective, most lol cows on websites like the lol cow farms or the kiwi farms, they have like threads, right? Single threads about themselves. This guy has an entire sub forum dedicated to him because it cannot be contained in one thread. <laughs> there's just so much going on. <laughs> like there's a thread just for his Twitter. There's a thread just for the Medicare slap fights. It's all, it's too much. He's a, he's a factory of content. Imagine being so fucking big in this field that you go to the literal website designed to contain your content and you need your entire sub form. <laughs> and he'll do funny oh shit. God. Like, my favorite part is when lol cows are uh, uh, obsessed with the fucking kiwi farms and other websites that, like, make fun of them where they're like, I don't go there, they're evil, blah, blah, blah. But then he'll hold up his phone and in the reflection of his shitty glasses that he's wearing because his eyes are fucked up, you can see the kiwi farms logo that he's browsing. And it's his most visited website on his browser. 
Yeah, but Boogie would do that as well, I noticed. Like, he's always talking about how he never goes and looks at the Kiwi Farm stuff or he doesn't look at the subreddit stuff or anything like that. He doesn't look at negative comments, but then he hits on every single point that they talk about in the video specifically that he makes yeah. about those contents. So it's so painfully obvious that he just, like, spends so much time on them. And I bet it's the same for oh, yeah, this well, guy. Well, how do you, but was... Ethan Ralph was even more bizarre to me. Like, how do you even live like that? He is actually just... A, like. A, he travels to get his ass beat and laughed at. That's all he does. Like, I don't know how you can wake up every day and feel all right with things. <laughs> He's, he doesn't feel all right. <laughs> it's a certain type of crazy. I guess. It, it just has to be like a actual super mental illness. <laughs> yeah. I, he's just a fucking scumbag. The, 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 he's like Cartman. Just real life Cartman, except somehow not funny like in the show. Yeah. Well, I mean, not uh, fu not funny in the way he wants to be funny. <laughs> funny to, to funny say. to laugh at. <laughs> yes. God, oh, what a great human! I love him. I, I I suggest everybody listening to this invest some time into the Ethan Ralph lore. Do you uh, think he's find plenty of videos? Do you on think YouTube. he's gonna There's find out about this episode, Kyle? Uh, maybe. He has me blocked on Twitter. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's no way. What did that you do? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't I have no like idea Ethan what I, I did. I have no idea. One time I was streaming myself watching the Medicare stream with him where they where he was crying and I wanted to check his Twitter and I saw that he fucking blocked me. And I, I, I had never interacted with this man. I have no fucking idea. We don't even really run in the same circles. I know he was like kind of sort of <laughs> close with Dick Masterson at some points. On whose show I was once or twice, but that's it. I don't know why the fuck. If he's, he probably has just a, like a block list or something that just blocks everyone. If he's white trash, he probably saw the color of your skin and just auto blocked you. Oh yeah, who could be that? I'm whiter than he is, probably. Yeah. But um, what was I gonna say? But yeah, anyway, um, go to YouTube. I just remember there's a very good explanation video, by the way, Charlie, called "The Ballad of Ethan Ralph," which is like 40 minutes and it's very memey, but it kind of lays down the basics up until about a year or so ago it's not up to date but it's still good I, uh, well you've I, given I, me I, something to watch yeah, yeah. watch that but i just watch it. i just found his wife kaya his wife is so far out of his league it is absolutely unfucking believable to jackson no, i can't say no i'm saying uh, are you serious like that's a controversial yeah. opinion Wait, uh, which see. one are you talking about? Is this not his? Is this not his wife? The the kill stream correspondent, the one that's like fighting for him on Twitter. Uh, I don't know. We, we go together like steak and cake. Probably shouldn't like Probably. say her name or anything. Yeah, that's that's. I'm trying to refrain from I mean, doing she's that. She's a public figure. She's a YouTuber herself. It's not. You're not doxing anyone. Um, oh, then it might. This might. This might not be her. Then it doesn't seem like she does. Well, YouTube. Uh, if you're talking about the same person, Charlie, apparently they got divorced in uh trying to find a date 2020. Mm, yeah, that's that a different one. Oh, there's more. Okay. How many wives? Because the he one had? that he got divorced from was also out of his league. <laughs> I mean, every woman that I've seen so um, far has been out of his league. <laughs> Any woman who is alive is out of his league. <laughs> True. Well, he's he does the like he does the Elon Musk thing where he finds a BPD bitch and knocks her up and then he moves on to the next one except the white trash version of it instead of the rich billionaire playboy version of it which is gross behavior I really fucking like of all the shit people give Elon Musk that's something you should actually criticize him on is this weird fucking behavior where he just knocks women up and then dumps them immediately and he does that basically yeah, it, it is weird there is no, so this is absolutely his most recent wife or girlfriend or something. There is no fucking planet where these two should ever even talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's can, crazy. Wait, can you, yeah, yeah, it's, it, it always comes down to craziness. Charlie, can you post it in the Discord? And Kaya said he was wealthy. So yeah, it has well, to be I, I, something like that. Like I, I did not I say he's wealthy. I just said he does get a lot of donations, so he does have Jack, viewers. I don't you know. Just, you say he's wealthy. You'll, it you'll can't agree, be Jackson. that good. It can't, oh yeah, yeah that's absolutely. His, uh, that, what? Yeah, that's his current girlfriend, who will never be his wife ever. Who is pregnant with? Actually, she did give birth to the child, so she's no oh, longer my pregnant. God. Um, what the fuck? Yeah, she will forever remain his girlfriend until he dumps her too to move on to the next damaged woman with daddy issues. 
these these women have to be damaged. There there has to be there there must oh, yeah. have been something that went awry. She fights for him on Twitter, which is how I even knew it. It is this is so fucking sad. Oh my god. Oh, Holy the funny thing shit. is, I mean, she's now trying to rebrand herself as a trad wife because that's that fucking sells to the fucking retard, you know, white supremacist simps on the internet. But it's like, bro, you, you admitted to jerking off to Lollicon with your pedophile boyfriend. It's, <laughs> oh, this it's is not gonna this work. Is, this oh, is the Lollicon this... chick. Yes. Oh, so she's oh, absolutely okay. insane, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that makes that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're, you're right. There's still, <laughs> yeah, the, there's the difference here is insane. Doctor Strange could peer into the a shit. billion universes and never <laughs> see one where this makes sense. Dude, the shit this woman puts up with—it's so goddamn bizarre. We're like, she'll be dead ass pregnant, you know, literally about to give birth, and he goes to Portugal to party and get his ass kicked again. He comes back, she's still pregnant, needing help. He goes to Las Vegas to party, comes back, she's still pregnant, you know. He decides, oh, you know what I should do? I should put my nine months pregnant girlfriend in the car for eight hours for a drive so I can go to that fucking event and then get punched in the mouth again. <laughs> where the video where Jax was talking about where that little stout looking guy punched him in the face. He, he made his nine month old <laughs> pregnant wife drive him eight hours to get beat up. I, I don't know if she drove, but yes, I mean, it, it is not healthy for a pregnant woman to sit eight hours in a fucking car. It's not healthy for a pregnant woman to be around Ethan Ralph, in general. It's, it's not too. healthy for a woman to be around <laughs> Ethan <laughs> Ralph, it's not safe. <laughs> it's not safe for Ethan Ralph to be around Ethan Ralph, this state. It's not healthy to be around Ethan Ralph. Yeah, this yeah. guy's just a miasma, <laughs> holy shit. But how do you get that lucky? He's got a beautiful he life. No. He did. He didn't get lucky, Jackson. That is absolutely him abusing mental illness in some capacity. Yeah, there, yeah. something happened there. There's something very fishy. Uh, Jackson, I, I promise you that that bitch is giving him just as much pain and suffering as he's giving her. Like those kind of women, they're always just lunatics. Well, she's yeah, she's kind of, a lolly I mean, or whatever she, you said. And she is dating a legitimate like white nationalist scumbag. So yeah, <laughs> who also they deserve each other. Why? Oh, why would you? Get with a guy that has a history of, like, sexually abusing his partners. Because that's what that was previously when he released the video of his, his Well, revenge porn is a crime. It, it's absolutely like a, a legitimate is. crime, yeah. Yeah. So, what, man, it's basically rape. I don't know. I also don't know why you would ever trust a man like that. This, this always bothers yeah. me with people who see disgusting, like, cheaters who... People who date cheaters, like... You don't think this is gonna happen to you next? What do you think is gonna happen here? She has to be cheating on him though, right? Like, yeah. is there any is there any lore there? Is that baby even uh, his? Not to my knowledge, not currently, but she might be. I mean, who the f hell knows? She might move on to the next weirdo. Does he have sponsors? Not to my knowledge. I mean, who the fuck would sponsor this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, again, Keemstar literally offered him money. They, he, I think the deal was supposed to be for like a hundred thousand dollars. And he just refused to just fucking clean up his act for just half a minute. Just keep keep a fucking like lid on the N words and the F slurs for. Can you do that for three months, Ethan? And then you can do it again. OK, uh, so open the floodgates. Just make up for it. Yell the N word for 10 hours straight. But can you not do it while I'm promoting this event? And he just didn't <laughs> want it. He couldn't do it. Good Lord. What a fucking loser. Yeah. I, I, it just, <laughs> it really, I don't know why it frustrates me so much that he ended up with this woman. Like, clearly she's got <laughs> issues and she's a broken person as well, probably, I'm assuming. Um, but man, it really annoys me that he got with her. Yeah, I, know. I don't that know. It, it's... There's something so foul about that <laughs> yeah. combination. That, that is baby so is so weird. screwed too. Like the best oh, thing yeah. that could happen to that child is that she breaks up with him and he goes to like a women's shelter or something. They, yeah, I think they like online the trolls lovingly refer to the baby as reroll Rosie because she's supposed to be a second chance, I guess, at life and being a decent father. <laughs> but he's never gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> what so? <sighs> What is it? so a trad woman is just a woman that likes to get walked over, I guess, like subservient to a dormant relationship. The, yeah, no, it's just it was supposed to be like, okay, I would like to be a housewife. I don't really want to sit in a cubicle and 
dedicate my life to a corporation. I'd rather dedicate it to my family. Okay, sure, fine. This is not trad wifing. You're dating white trash. A complete <laughs> scumbag, sleazy, greasy, white trash piece of shit. There's nothing trad about this. Your ancestors would spit on you if they saw you debase yourself like this. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> there, There is a serious level of debasement going on here. Oh yeah, they also levels. call the baby Cozy Rosie as a tribute to Nick Fuentes' streaming platform. Thank you, chat. <clears throat> no, well, this was a long topic. Thank you for that one. That was fascinating. Yeah, thanks, no, Ethan. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, you Ethan. You did it all for this. <laughs> Keep being you. Have you guys heard the news uh, uh, very recently about Ricky Martin? Oh, oh yeah, the allegations yeah. against him, like fucking his nephew or whatever. It, they're not allegations, right? It went through. It, it's like Jackson, actually going through. Court Jackson, proceedings. the best part. The best part about that is when you sent me that link. I was at a uh, MetroCon here in Tampa. Was he and there? As you sent me. No, well, I wish. But as you sent me that, <laughs> fucking a bunch of people in a giant circle were blasting "Live in La Vida Loca." They must have known. <laughs> it was. It was like angelic timing. I was taken aback. Yeah, I'm stunned. But, so yeah, I guess still allegedly, Ricky Martin is facing incest charges. He could get up to fifty years in prison because he oh my god he banged his uh, fifty nephew, years. Right? Holy shit! It was his nephew, Charlie. Yeah, his nephew. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? There's so many weird stories recently with celebrities, like weirder than normal. Yeah, a lot of like incest. <laughs> yeah, Did you guys incest see that? Kind of eat? popping off. Yeah, Elon incest Musk's, is the new hotness. Elon's dad apparently had a baby with his stepdaughter that he raised since she was four. That's fucking weird. That whole family is weird. Like, super yeah. weird. Yeah. yeah. His mum's on That's Twitter. He's, he's, I, I've always noticed his mum's on all of his threads in the comments defending him and stuff. I'm like, I can't <laughs> tell if that's sweet or, like... Fucking weird. <laughs> it's definitely fuck? weird. That's not sweet. That's just weird. Well, but yeah, Ricky Martin is like the fuck. last person that I would have expected to be fucking his nephew. Why? I I remember when I was a kid when Living La Vida Loca was coming out. I don't remember what he did, but they did something pretty controversial back then too. All right, well, I'll I'll explain why it might be a little weird. So Ricky Martin is fifty years old. His nephew is twenty one. Yeah, well, uh, I, also, he's his nephew. <laughs> I, think, yeah. I think blood relation <laughs> I mean, trumps I mean, age in the situation. That's a substantial age gap as well. It would have been alright oh. if he was 40, though. Yeah, it would have been fine. Who cares? They're old enough to make their own incestual like, decisions I mean, so at that point. He's, he, no, no, no. He, there's nothing, like, wrong with it. Like, he's a full-grown adult, 21, make your own decisions. There's nothing wrong with it ethically, <laughs> but it's still pretty fucking unusual that the age gap is that wide and it's incestuous. <laughs> like, good lord. Well, it's... Well, the, it, it is wrong, wrong that it's incestuous. Ethically, well, it's also ethically wrong if he raised her. That's, like, pretty much him. a definition of grooming. Your, oh, oh, it's him. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Well, I, either way, it doesn't matter. That's, like, this is your nephew. I assume you raised him since he was a kid, or at least you've known him as part of your family. Is that a normal... Yeah. Uh, weird. I was gonna say, is that a normal thing that you raise your nephews? Maybe he wasn't that close to the brother or whatever I also weird, I, like I, fucking your brother's son <laughs> yeah i actually can't find like uh what was controversial with his past so maybe you're right jackson maybe i'm getting him confused with someone else uh, apparently no, you're not, uh, 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 charlie what you're remembering is the old time like the, i'd remember the controversial part about him was that he came out as gay wasn't it because is back that in it? that time yeah during Dude, that time like, period yeah could be yeah oh, yeah maybe this was but did I he was actually little... come out as gay? I didn't even know. Well, yeah, no, he's yeah, he's openly gay. He's super gay. Yeah. I mean, I could I could tell because he's like extremely like flamboyant and stuff. But I didn't know if he was like openly gay. <laughs> and the nephew fucking. <laughs> yeah, that too. So apparently, <laughs> uh, uh, Ricky Martin's lawyer said that all of this is untrue and didn't happen, and uh, that person that claimed all this has mental health issues. And recently, Ricky Martin's brother uploaded a video saying yeah it's true that person is estranged from our family and has deep mental health issues so who knows maybe Holy it didn't mental health issues from getting fucked by ricky martin <laughs> <laughs> i would i would also probably say that that's very likely that seems yeah. like something that's happened a few times in the past now yeah 
like mm. uh, mental illness leading to fake, yeah, fake claims of mm-hmm. drama but stuff. There's, there's, yeah, there's charges, right? There's actually proof that there's charges. I, I thought I read that there was. I didn't charges. see anything about charges. I just saw allegations. Yeah, so it's if Ricky Martin is convicted, he could face up to fifty years in prison. And but what is he being convicted of? Is it is it incest? Invol- yeah, just okay. involvement of incest. Um, okay. But I didn't every, realize everyone that. from top to bottom is saying that this is fake and didn't happen. So who knows? Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess we'll see how it pans out. Mm-hmm. Um, did you guys ever know anyone? Well, not know anyone, but know of anyone in your like uh, hometowns or, that were like partaking in incest or incest oh, the local what tampa of... incestor yeah yeah what the fuck kind of question is that jackson when someone's fucking their brother or sister or nephew they're not very open about it <laughs> yeah i was at a bar I feel like... the other day and i was just talking to some cool dudes and the first guy said hey, i was fucking my cousin the other day I, it was fucking I, awesome i remember back Bottom in high beer. school we had maybe it's because it was a small town and people just like to pick on each other or whatever but like there were rumors about people out in the smaller settlements around the area that were like, uh, there were like hushed whispers, like, yeah, they're, they're incestuous. So I thought maybe that was you were common. Ju- you were absolutely just bullying them. They probably weren't. <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> absolutely. I'm not, saying, yeah. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that they were or weren't. I'm just saying that that's what the conception was at the time. So I wanted to know how common that was. Did you guys ever have anything like that? So are you saying we, did, when we were children, did we ever make up shit that wasn't true? No. I said, were there any like stories or rumors going around that there were people partaking in incest? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. It's a simple question. Were there rumors around? Nothing. Your nothing beyond pop culture, like fucking Andy Warhol, fucking is marrying his cousin and shit. Like beyond. You don't that, know no. Andy Warhol. I'm talking about your your city, your township, at your high school, where there were like whispers about any incest people. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just don't even understand this is why you think there would spe- be. It's such a stupidly specific yeah, question. Just, it just sounds like you grew up around a bunch of fucking bullies that didn't like the local <laughs> town oh, folk. Oh, we grew up around like a whole bunch of incest bad. people. It sounds like you feel bad that you bullied people, like, saying they were incestuous, and now you're like, well, everyone does it, haha, right? I wasn't a bad person. I, no, I didn't do it. I was just listening to these stories, and I was like, yeah, maybe And laughing and, jo- and adding well, on is, to it, yeah. It is, it is kind of funny. And I, I do believe it in some situations. I, how how popular is incest? Oh, it's probably more popular than most people care to admit. I yeah, imagine, yeah. like in the in, like in the south well, and shit. Well, no, it's super absolutely. duper popular. It's like the highest category on Pornhub and shit. People like it. They love well, it. But also, it's but also like in rural areas too. and stuff. Like, why are people into that? It's always the dumbest fakest shit too. Because it's the easiest the way. Sets. It's the easiest way to present a taboo fetish. Like you make a porn video, like oh, dick goes in pussy. That's cool, I guess. But you make a porn video, dick goes in pussy, and you go, but this is my sister, and everyone suddenly goes, ooh, this is naughty. Oh no, <laughs> oh, taboo, s- scary. Don't yeah, do that. Sister. Yeah, ooh, ooh, my kids are don't, be don't talk that. Ooh. Is incest rates going up or down, do you guys reckon? Probably up. Bullpuck? I'd say up, but mm, only yeah. because there's more people. I, I no, don't think there's anything causing it. I think just well, more I, people. Well, no, it would be it, a linear percentage not, then. It's if, also it, not only because there's more people, but the internet is making it more accepted. Yeah, I was going to say... Again, look at I, all I the incest say, videos that are out there. I was going to say it might be getting more accepted due to, like, porn and stuff. Fucking Game of Thrones had a whole incest plotline and tons of fans were like, yes, they deserve to be together. They should absolutely run away and love that each is, other. That is a really True good point. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely becoming more popular and accepted. I'm trying uh, I'm to okay find, like, a U.S. incest. In- yeah, but who's gonna, who's gonna, like, answer those questions, Charlie? <laughs> yeah, who's gonna try to find, like, <laughs> incest on- rate? <laughs> who's gonna answer on the census? We yes, need an, we incest an incest expert on this show. Can we get Ethan Ralph? <laughs> Especially, Whoa. it's illegal, Wait, right? What? Wait, hold on. Check this out. So I'm, I'm trying to find these graphs. The first thing I found is from the tips for efficiency. I don't really know why. This, I don't know why this is here. Instead of getting a girlfriend, just fuck your sister. <laughs> yeah, this is the, this is the so in- efficient. This is the inbreeding statistics by state. Oh. So inbreeding in the United States is legal in 19 states, allowing oh, first yeah. cousin marriages. About 0.2% of all marriages in America are inbred, or roughly 250k Americans. About 70% of inbred families live in desolate areas. 
Inbreeding is common said. in the southeast region and more rural states such as eastern Kentucky. Yeah, it's always, it's always uh, rural areas where there's not that many yeah. people in the first place. According to the Office of Justice Programs, area. apparently over 10% of American families experience incest. Yeah. How much? So, over 10% oh of American Holy families fuck. have an incident of incest. That what? has one to in, be One out of every 10 like... family has some incest going on. Well, like, say your dad to Wiener, maybe? Though. That counts? Like, you shouted with your dad? I, I don't know what they are counting, but apparently of that percent, only 20% get directly reported. So, <laughs> could be even more. Mm. Well, reported insinuates that it was like an illegal... Oh, well, so all, okay. All illegal, right. Like, thought... actual sexual assault and rape and stuff like that. Whereas the other 80% might be consensual? I don't know. Uh, this is, I mean, do they count so shit like money. actual rape where a brother just rapes his little sister and shit? I'm gonna Probably. assume it counts like all incest from top to bottom. Yeah. That is insane. 10% is so much higher. I'm on the New Zealand Herald.com.nz or whatever the fuck. Uh, it says other Reddit users shared their encounters with close cousins and some were incredibly relaxed about it. Quote, I can't say I disliked it or I feel guilty or anything. It is amazing. She's hot and thinks I'm hot as well. <laughs> That's Reddit for cool. you. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's so, go. I, I, I had sex I with my cousin when we were both 17. Yeah, I guess, I mean, I can't... I can kind of see why people would assume, or at least not think that this is, like, gross. Because, you know, you do have those cousins you never see, right? Except for, like, at New Year's once a year, maybe. If even that, where they, are, they basically are strangers. Yeah, but it's still incest, though. Yeah, it's, it's... Oh, absolutely. It's still nasty and should be bullied like Jackson used to do, but... Still, I find but it... I am starting to think, think that they were the... incest now. The... I think they were. <laughs> I think the closer you relate it, the grosser it is exponentially. Yeah. Well, yeah, oh, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just realized my camera's pointed much further down than usual. I just made a <laughs> massive adjustment to my sack on camera. That's gonna be wild. Yeah, that boner's <laughs> popping through those shorts as we talk about incest. Yeah, we, you better no, be careful. I'm, I'm with you confirmed that he's into incest. Yeah. Yeah. I've, got, I've got a bit of a swamp ass going on, so my sack was sticking, so I had to really like lift <laughs> lift the ball out. Why you got dick cam going? Oh, I didn't realize it was so much lower than usual, so I just uh -huh. made this huge adjustment. <laughs> that was that was uh, unlucky. Totally we accidental, accidental to that, uh -huh. right? <laughs> no, I, I literally leaned into the camera to give myself maximum leverage. <laughs> yeah, what a coincidence! My pants were down, and I stood up and started touching myself because I was really itchy. I don't know how that happened. That Shit just happens, I guess. Yeah, what an uncomfortable timing for that yeah, to happen. Yeah, whenever too. I talk about incest, it just happens coincidentally. I, yeah, it was weird. I was just looking at all these inbreeding my balls statistics. Get sticky. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, good old incest, never change. Alright, wait, Australia incest. I already uh, looked it up, Jackson, you guys don't report it? At all? <laughs> well, you don't have like a, like a, a rate or anything, like a percentage. Um, is it illegal here? I mentioned it is. One in 700 Australians, apparently. I don't know how, well, that's such a weird number. <laughs> I don't know why they <laughs> chose that to one. What? Charlie, did you uh, happen to mention the state with the highest rate of incest? No, I didn't finish Would it. you like what to guess? Uh, I will guess. I'm going to say Missouri. Uh, Kaya Jackson, would you like to guess? I'm going to say Washington. It's either Missouri mm. or Kentucky. I, I know we always hear about like Alabama and shit, but I'm going to assume yeah, that's not. a curveball and mm -hmm. say, is it, I don't know, is it Hawaii? Florida? Alaska. Charlie, you should have gone with your second guess. It was Kentucky. Uh, I knew it was either Missouri or Kentucky. It had to yeah, be one of those Yeah, it's Kentucky. Two. What's the least incestuous state? I actually can't find that. It was just listed as, like, I, like the top. <laughs> <laughs> That's, like, their new, like, uh, marketing material. Like, yeah. we don't like incest here. Come to Montana. Come to incest. No incest in sight. We can prove it with numbers. <laughs> Maybe it, maybe there's just a lot of lies in that state, though. It'd probably have to be, like, a really, really populated state, just because your options are so much wider. Yeah, it'd have to be, like, a California or something like that. Or New like York, that, I was thinking. Or, yeah. But then there's more people, so that there's more opportunity. No, there's opportunity more non-related people to you. 
so there's yeah, more opportunity to not have to fuck your sister. Maybe in yeah. maybe most cases of incest aren't about um, like ease Options. of access. It's yeah. about like being broken mentally and being attracted to a family. I don't know. All That's right, Jackson, gross. with the real answers. Come on, dude. No, stupid. Jackson sounds dumb. stupid. Coming in with actual logical deduction. Let's talk more about peepees and like adjusting them. Yeah, yeah, never mind. You want to do that again? <laughs> no, I, I raised my camera already. That was oh, that was oh you got a camera shy. <laughs> yeah, that was embarrassing. Come on, big guy. Oh, <laughs> be glad All we right. don't stream the cameras. Yeah, we ready to wrap? Yeah, I hope so. Sure. Alrighty, thanks everyone for listening to this week's episode, the official podcast. Bonuses at patreoncom slash the official podcast. Uh, we've got confirmation on Patreon's end, like it, it tracks everyone's uh, like stats and stuff like that no people perform incest in our audience at least on good. patreon so that's, the that's way, good news good real news. quick Only before you we wrap to, though. because i would like to follow up with this next week um people have a counter apparently going currently ralph has managed to not dox his new home for nine days 22 hours 36 minutes and 20 seconds so congrats <laughs> <laughs> does he change address like constantly uh, I mean, his last address was very well known, and people kept sending him corn cobs and DVDs of Children of the Corn and shit, so I guess he moved. <laughs> Why would you move? Free DVDs. Yeah, free corn. He'd start, he'd start <laughs> merching those Children of the Corn DVDs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sign them, send them back. Alrighty. Thanks, guys, for watching. All we'll right. see you next week. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.